Do you ever catch yourself thinking, I know HOTS is the easy baby mode of MOBAs, but my brain is buttery smooth and I can only focus on the raw moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Numbers are scary and I don't want to stack them or do quests. Oh. Greymane is a reliable, no-nonsense, hit-it-until-it-dies hero. No gimmicks, no tricks. Just a tight, high-damage kit that rewards a lot of clicking. Half the time, he's a man, doing manly things like growing facial hair and shooting people, and the other half, he's a furry, violating personal space and getting kicked out of hotels. The old dog that he is, he's a bit outclassed by newer assassins, but Greymane is by no means weak. Because of his high damage, he's great at clearing waves or hunting other heroes. Minions might as well be made of milk bones. A quick QEQ combo gets your lane pushing. Because he's such a PvE powerhouse, his presence in lane requires a response from the enemy team. As long as minions are around, Greymane is pretty fast at slapping buildings down. He can't afford to play catch with tower shots. Greymane has absolutely no self-sustain. No, that talent doesn't count. He gets a little armor in wolf form, and with his high damage he can trade very well, but he's an old boy and needs regular trips to the vet to stay healthy. So he's incredibly vulnerable to ganks. Watch your tail. And since most other solo laners have ways of mitigating damage or even healing themselves, you'll need to trade into them very thoughtfully, if at all. So what do you do if your enemy can keep up with your wave clear and bully you out of lane? You subscribe. Oh, I don't know, go take a camp? Anything tougher than siege giants will require a checkup, but you can take pretty much every camp in the game. Mechanically, it doesn't take much to master Greymane, just two things, really. Like other dive heroes, you need to know when it's safe enough to go in. Where Greymane differs from someone like Butcher, let's say, is Greymane needs to keep the momentum going. If Inner Beast falls off in the middle of a fight, you'll really feel his age. And he doesn't bring anything to the fight besides raw damage. No stuns, no slows, just high damage abilities and hard hitting auto attacks. Simple right? No when to go in, and no when to stay in. The fast high damage auto attacks are where most of Greymane's value lies. Ranking him next to other attack damage heroes, he's... He's not on the list? Well... Well he's up there, just trust me, no need to do your own research. Anyways, about those auto attacks, Inner Beast grants Greymane 50% attack speed for 3 seconds, with the duration increasing by 0.5 seconds on each successful auto attack. Hitting things also reduces the cooldown in equal amounts, so you'll want to hit stuff. Anything. As many things, as much as possible. 20 seconds is a crazy long cooldown on a basic ability, and you don't want to be caught in a fight without it. If you just need to hit something, it's easier to maintain Inner Beast in human form, because... gun? but it's not as threatening. Thankfully, Gilnaean Cocktail gives you a fantastic poking tool to soften up the enemy. It's a fast, two-stage skill shot that deals a small amount of damage to whoever it hits, then explodes in a cone for much more on whoever was behind the initial target. Great for harassing the backline or surprising, fleeing opponents. Gotcha, bitch. A few drinks before and after a fight is always a great idea. Once the enemy's softened up, it's time to fetch their souls with Dark Flight. It's a great gap closer and increases Greymane's damage potential. On top of his heavy auto attacks, Razor Swipe is a damaging dash on a short cooldown. Ideally, you'll be spamming this ability for damage, but people tend to not hold still as you hit them, the extra mobility this ability provides can help Greymane stick to targets or scoot away from danger. Use the wide area to cleave multiple targets. Once you've done your business or things are getting a little too hairy, you can use disengage to disengage, rolling in a targeted direction and shifting back into human form. It does what it says. What more do you want from me? Go for the Throat gives Greymane another gap closer, but you don't want to use this to initiate. This one's for securing picks. When an enemy hero drops below this ability's damage threshold, they get a little mark on them, which means free snacks. Killing a target with this ability gets you a free reset. It can get a little wild. This ability is better against teams of squishy, low health heroes, or if you desperately need to finish off a priority target. Cursed Bullet is an insane poking tool. Assuming your target has full health, it's able to do over a third of their total life and damage. But wait, it gets better. This ultimate has a 30 second cooldown. That's wild! This means if you have good aim, you can start every fight by chunking an enemy hero. Hitting a tank looks better on the stat screen, but no one in this game wants to take 35% of their health and damage all at once. It does lose value as the fight goes on, but that doesn't mean you can't use it. It's on a 30 second cooldown, just shoot people! Uh, Fox, earlier in the video you said 20 seconds was a long cooldown, and now you're saying 30 seconds is a short cooldown? What's your deal? Well, the differences between basic abilities and ultimate abilities. Use your brain, straw man. Greymane is an old dog with no tricks. He does a lot of damage, he takes a lot of damage. But because he walks such a thin line between effectiveness and uselessness, playing to his strengths will make you better at the game in general. Can't get any early game ganks? Go clear a lane. Outclassed in the 1v1? Go take a camp. Can't fight the siege golems on your own? Uninstall. It's a bit of a bloody process, but once you get the feel for it, you'll be able to terrorize the enemy team with the goodest of boys.
All of his skins suck.